gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Good morning. Yes, it is morning on this beautiful December day. I wish, man. Anyway, <clears throat> this is how I wake up. <laughs> Just kidding. So, running a little bit behind because I decided to play games this morning. Uh, candy Crush or Soda Crush, whatever. Candy Soda Crush, is that what it's called? Well, that game to be specific. And um, yes, I'm not ashamed to say that I'm addicted. Freaking love that game, yo. I don't know what it is about it. And I always tell, or I kind of think to myself, it would be so cool if that game had like some really good properties like it helps with my brain and memory and you know that would be awesome i don't know if that's the case that would be awesome though but anyway so i've got so much going on guys so today is official vlogmas day 14 i had to rebraid my braid today i was able to make several appointments um for my beautifulness gift to myself for christmas my gift is I bought a wig. I'm gonna have it sewed on into a bob look. I'm excited about that. I actually need to research bobs to see which one I want. I always get the side part because, you know, I know how that works. I'm good at that. I'm good at side parts. I can do a side part. It goes great with my face. However, I think I also want like a really straight cut because if you remember, I'll put a picture in of when I had my sh straight cut bob wig, um, which I loved and I loved the color and I like laid down the edges and we'll do a bob. The only thing is that my hair underneath, I don't remember if it was perfectly braided and then also um, the cut that I had done was very, 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 very poor. So I'm hoping that if I let a professional do it, it'll be mad cute. And then also the hair is kind of like wavy to curly. So then I can go back and forth between the straight look and curly look. Hashtag goals. But this one's just like natural color. So it's just black. I mean, it won't be anything like spectacular. I've already done the look. But the look was a fave. So it's good news. Then, so that's what I'm doing. I'm getting my hair done. If that doesn't work out, I'll just get a, a weave. I'll just get a bob weave. Like, there's no issue here. And then... I'm doing my eyelashes because 2018 should be a really exciting year for me. I'm planning on a transformation. I don't have any concrete plans just yet. It's just a dream right now. Um, but the transformation is to come and it's my goal that I, like, I would have really nice eyelashes during the whole transformation so that even on days like today when I still look like a little tired, you know, things aren't perfect. <clears throat> I noticed that like eyelashes do it for me. If I have eyelashes, I feel like I'm amazing and uh, you can't tell that I just woke up, etc. So eyelashes are a staple that I would like to continuously obtain. Um, I just need to make sure I find the right place to go so that my eyes do not suffer. The last time I was getting eyelashes, I think the glue was too strong. It burned like my eye and then I was just, it was so irritating. Like every day I had to constantly tell myself to ignore the fact that my eye was so itchy. We decided to let those go. And then I kind of swore off of them. I'm like, forget this. I want eyelashes so bad, I'll just glue them suckers on for the day. But I really love, those were, um, I don't know if you've ever been to the beauty supply, or not supply, salon on Crenshaw and Imperial. That location, they do, they now do individual eyelashes too. I just haven't sat there to have them do them for me. But they do like clumped individuals. I don't know how to explain it. It's like three hairs in one and they put them on. And whatever they use, they used this time around, I believe my eye was a bit sensitive to it. Also, when they removed the eyelashes, it was a bit painful. I don't know if maybe I had a cut or something or a tear in my eyelid and when they put them back on again. Because what I, what I wanted to do was get a fill. Okay. Every time I went to get a fill, they kept saying like, oh, you know, it'd be better if I just did them completely over. And then I say, okay, well, fine, if you say so. And I used to get eyelashes back in the day. Like, I've done this before. When I was in college, I used to get them at this exact place. You know, this is years ago, so maybe they're using different products now. But I used to do it. And um, so, yeah, unfortunately, this time around, they took the eyelashes off. They put them back on. I probably, I felt like I probably shouldn't. Because when they, when I take my eyelashes off, like, 
I'm like, my eyelid, eyelids are bald. I don't have any hair there. And so it looks very, very awkward. And then when they put them back on, they're like literally gluing to my skin. And I think that was the issue. I don't know. Girl, I don't know. Long story short is, I don't want those type anymore. Um, I also went to another place uh, where I get my nails done now. Sill Williams Nail and Spa. That place is really dope. It's black owned. And I really enjoy getting my nails done there. And they always have a Groupon too um, for a deluxe Manny Petty. So I don't remember how much it normally costs, but it only costs $24 for the Groupon. And so, yes, I subscribe. I use that. They let you rebuy it once a month. I go over there. One day I was feeling froggy, so I leaped and I let her do my eyelashes. First person I've ever let do my eyelashes outside of the place on Crenshaw and Century. No, it's Crenshaw and Imperial. And the one time that I got individual eyelashes. like drooling they were crying so bad my nose was running like it was just a horrible experience and I was like literally telling myself like it's all good girl because you're gonna look great after I'll see if I can find a picture of that too which they looked cool but the thing was when I took those eyelashes to Crenshaw and Imperial to get a fill they were like what's wrong with these lashes why are they straight it was the funniest thing like I hadn't noticed because I've been wearing them this whole time but I guess they straightened out over time they were curly at first so I won't be getting my lashes there anymore, but nails all day. And um, so, yep, so I'm getting hair and lashes. I've gotten individual lashes one time for my birthday. I don't feel like talking. <laughs> I'm headed in, guys. So it's not completely the filter. Can you tell? It's not bad. It's not horrible. I like it. That experience wasn't the best, but it's more customer service driven. Um, she did take a really long time, like three hours. From what I hear, it could be like an hour and a half or two hours. For the type of lashes that I got, it shouldn't have taken that long, but she took a long time. It was an African-American lady, so I thought that would be cool, but um, I didn't end up enjoying my time with her a thousand percent. Like one On one hand, it smelled really weird. Like We were in a beauty salon, and she had her own little room in the back. But it smelled strange there. She did have a dog, so it could have been like the dog peed on something. The dog was so cute, so I wouldn't even mad, you know what I'm saying? The dog was so cute. I cannot wait to get a dog, yo. I need a dog in my life. Come here. Oh, hi. Oh, hello. You're so cute. That's what you are. But yes, uh, I took my mom with me because my mom was doing beauty things with me for my birthday. And... And she talked to that lady that whole time and I went to sleep. So that was, you know, getting my eyelashes done was nice to be asleep while you're getting your eyelashes done. It took a long time. Don't get me wrong, but I mean, I was asleep. So, yeah. so that was cool. So individual lashes and a wig slash weave for Christmas. Also, yeah, I bought the nail pack package. So I'll be getting my nails done too. So that is all. Those are my exciting things i um, pretty much done with my Christmas shopping I set up all my appointments I've got a few more gifts to get like some gift card type stuff a few more gift cards to get and uh, that's it and Saturday I see the girls for dinner annual dinner bash and Sunday I believe I'm going to a brunch at some nice place that I've never been to so that should be fun too the sad that is true I'm way too good to go